The president considers these allegations to be a private matter between himself and the first lady. He is grateful for the continued support and respect of privacy by the American people. Any questions? <laughs> Eric. Is it true? What it is, is a private matter. But the first lady made it a public matter. I don't speak for the first lady, I speak for the president. <laughs> not even going to answer the simple question. The president did answer. What did he say when he heard this? He said that he considers these allegations to be a private matter between himself and the first lady. What the, uh, Cyrus, have the president and the first lady spoken since this revelation? It's not a revelation, James. It's an accusation. Well, have they spoken? Have they seen each other? The answer to that question is covered by the statement. How is it covered by the statement? I'm not going to parse this. Can you at least tell us where the president is? The president? Yes. Where is he? The door. That is an order. Respectfully, sir, I do not take orders. I do not care who you take your orders from, Tom. I don't care if you got your orders from Jesus Christ himself as he hung on the cross. Jesus is not me. Jesus forgives. Jesus saves. I destroy, and I will bring vengeance down upon you in a hail of fire and brimstone. You will open that door now! Or I will call in every favor I have, making sure you spend the rest of your career guarding baby Teddy at the playground. I need a reason to open that door, sir. A credible threat. He's having a heart attack. He just texted me.